Hello YouTubers, today I have a Amazon Fire TV stick in front of me. What we're going to be doing is disassembling this and removing the microphone so it's not constantly listening. Believe it or not, people request this. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the batteries from there. Hey, what's up, Sonia? Again, first to the race. Oh, yeah, big washer. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hey, this is pretty pretty strange. They got a uh, they got some probing points here. Pretty interesting with the QR code for the programming. Wonder if I could read that QR code. Going to try. Curious. There's a couple apps in the App Store that allow you to read these. It's a serial number. Yeah, this is one of them. Uh, but with this app, you can't zoom in it. That's what kind of sucks. With the Samsung app, you can zoom in on it. That's the app name. If you're ever curious. If you want to uh, scan QR codes on iPhones and iPhone parts and stuff like that, you could use this with the Samsung Galaxy S9 and above. It'll, it'll scan the QR codes. But, yeah, see, that's not going to work. So. I'll try something else here. Got another scanner here somewhere. Let's try this one. Access my location? No. Notifications? I don't know. It's not doing anything. Okay. Give me a second here. I'm going to check permissions. Yeah, so I don't know. I can't get that working, whatever. We're not going to scan the QR code, whatever. It's obviously in the serial number, too, so. Yeah, I've seen that video. Pretty crazy. I just watched it a little bit ago. <clears throat> going to be a big place. I think he's going to have an Apple store right in front. Like, kind of like set up like the Apple Store, which would be pretty nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to like try to break this free without breaking the remote. 
Kind of a little difficult. They glue this thing together. You can see this glue. They just gotta come on, come along it. It's gonna be kind of hard to do this on camera. All right, so we got that side free somewhat. Yeah, that's crazy, retro fix. I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, I mean, people are allowing access to their stuff. That's why it, this is a sought after thing right here, believe it or not. Uh, I've actually had lots of requests of this, believe it or not. And it's crazy when you. Oh, damn it. I hope I didn't put that back in. Did I? Yeah, a little bit. I did too. So, anyways. Yeah, people, you know, like, it's kind of crazy. Okay, it automatically just picks up your voice. Why is it picking up your voice? Obviously, it's recording you, so. Come on. Little corners are a little tricky to get started here. There we go. Snap. Snap. A little tricky. Uh, let me see what's going on in chat here, real quick. Not much. So, have you guys took any of your remotes apart to fix ever? I mean, because you can see, look how much you got to snap that free. See it right there. Yeah, it's a big bulge in it now. How'd you, uh, Sonia, how'd you turn your microphone off on there? Just curious. Did you desolder it? <laughs> Alright, so we got something in the front here. Usually it snaps in inward. I can't remember. Let's see. Let's take this and get this off of it real quick. So you try not want to damage up the remote, you know. There's the IR sensor. Don't worry about that side. Don't worry about getting this free. Yeah, come on. Come free. What's going on? There we go. Not easy taking these apart, that's for sure. Maybe somebody has another trick to them, but there we go. We got that off. We got access to the microphone area.
Oh, really? A physical button? Stop it. That's pretty interesting, Zion. Wow. I never knew that. <laughs> he tried to ask him. <laughs> he tried to ask the remote to nicely open up. That's funny, Retrofix. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Wow. Alright, so we got this open somewhat. We don't gotta open up all the way. We got some new screws or something outside here. What's going on? Let's see what we're we're fast for. We're getting a little interesting here. Is this for the battery? Is this for the battery? Um, it's always fun trying to figure out how to tear things apart and you never know, tore apart. I've done the smaller controllers before, not the big one like this. Mm -hmm. So, how is that possible? Mm, really? Alright. So you remove the ring first. Right? So you remove the screws. Are you serious? They do too. Wow. Are you serious? Oh my freaking beep beep beep. I just want to play so freaking bad. That is some BS right there. Huh. Wow. The freaking two fucking. Oh my god. Under this, underneath the controller. All right, we're rolling with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it costs a little bit. Whatever. Hey, Retrofix, you're way worse than me on cussing. I'll tell you that. You've been trying to tone it down a little bit, but the last couple videos I've seen, pretty funny. Makes me roll, laughing my ass off. See, got me cussing. That is just crazy. You put two screws in there. You would have never thought that. Now it comes off like greasy, beautiful cover girl. Come on. Come on. Whatever. Let's not take you apart all the way. I mean, what the hell is this crap? Just like a dead plate. See, there goes the other one that we ripped the screw, but it'll be fine. It'll snap on the place because of the snapping pieces. There we go. We got that apart. Yeah, another 16 screws. Hey, uh, Retrofix, you're familiar with, uh,
Let's see if you see this. This reminds me of, uh, <clears throat> I think it's droppings or something. Let me see. It's going under a microscope. I just look stuff over sometimes. When you see this in game consoles, I would turn away from this. In a sense, it's like, But, I guess that's what you can expect from the game, or the controller. All right, whatever. So we remove this stuff. It's kind of crazy there for a second. No, I just thought it was like, you know, like bug stuff or whatever, but it's not. That's all I was thinking. Because that's what you would look for signs of, you know. See, I thought we were going to rip that one out right there. We already ripped that one out, but it's fine. It's going to snap into place anyway. In the clip. But that's how you do it. You take that little little actual button thing and then take it apart. Let's see if we get this out. Of course they got the spring loaded. Oh shit, that thing went springy. <laughs> <laughs> went flying. There we go. That's the cap, the battery. They never used to have that before. Where is the microphone? <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to take a little look at the circuitry. Circuitry. No, just look, it looked at like little dust and stuff like that. When you look at stuff, it, <clears throat> when, when you're looking at like game consoles, you look for signs of crap and turd, you know? Like you said, crap. Crap, crap, crap. So it kind of looked like a little bit of a crap situation going on there. Alright, so I guess that is the BIOS chip that holds all the information to the memory of the actual board.
I don't guess my numbers on that one. So that is the chip number if you like to Google it. Wherever it is on my shitty microscope camera. So we just got some power stuff over there. Yeah, like a power IC chip, controls IR, all that type of crap. Right there. That's your LED right there. We should change that. You think we could change that? So, like. What's the stock color on that? I forget. Change it to blue. Always blue. So this is the IR sensor right here. Which is LED. It's kind of crappy. To tell you the truth. I don't know if they had with the, the earlier generations, they had Bluetooth, I can't remember. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not really familiar with the Amazon Fire TV sticks. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up a little bit. So we don't burn it. We can remove it. Because we're going to be removing the microphone right here. Now you guys can see it on film. Right there. So we're removing that microphone right there. So we're going to heat all this up very carefully to remove this. So we need to reuse that. So we're just going to come from a far distance, kind of just heat it up slowly. No more Alexa. <laughs> That's funny. Jeff Bezos under there. <laughs> So we're not heating that up this much, we're just going to heat it up a little bit. Jurassic Park? I, I just wonder, yeah, uh, let's fix Jurassic Park, I don't know, uh, I think... Man, what, what do you think is the best Jurassic Park? One or two? Is it, we're going to peel this off a little bit. Let me heat that up a little bit more because the adhesive is a little hotter. So I'm going to turn my temperature up just a tad. Turn the airflow up. Some more. Magic word. So these actual Amazon uh, 
TV remotes are a little harder to take off, you know, take a little apart than the other ones because they got the two screws there. But then they got this. I'll stick into it, which is kind of pain in the butt to remove. Alright, so that should be warm enough right there. You don't want to rip this. We're just going to peel this back. We're just going to peel back. No, no. They tape it over here on this side. Make sure you grab this side first. You just need to peel it back just a little bit. You can see it's got the little reflective material in there that pushes against the contacts. So you want to make sure those don't come out. Usually I would like to use my little steel plate that I'm going to use. It's going to want to stick to it, which kind of sucks. Just right as I rubbed it with alcohol so it doesn't stick. Hopefully, the other side. And that's the IR sensor, so you want to cover that. Now I'm going to let chat decide, oh, you guys can't see it right there, the microphone right there. Let's see how it says, M-I-C. So cho uh, chat is going to vote. Do I remove this with a soldering iron or hot air? So I'm going to let up to the viewers. How should I remove this? Soldering iron or heat? You got one vote. Come on, there's a couple other watchers here. You guys can uh, vote in on this. Ooh, that's a nice one, Sonia. Hey, Sonia's thinking. Hmm, should we try that? But do we want the customer to feel that they got their microphone removed. There is not gonna be no chance. There's some people out there like that, so I don't know on that one, that, but that's a good one. So we can just cut all those traces, right? Obviously, we got trays here. Let me get some more. We got trace right here. Going into the microphone. There. We got another blob going there. And we got the capacitor. That's obviously power. Kind of two data lines. So,
You just knock that capacitor off there, right? There's a trace right there. You take that trace. Ground plane, but whatever. Then we got two blob parts over here. I'm just kind of curious. I'm going to add a little flux to that. I want to see if like in some cases they manufacture these and they don't have that blob on there. Therefore they can't Therefore, like certain countries or something like that, maybe can't have that activated. We don't know. If it's an extractor. So we just took everything away from there. Who cares? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy up real quick. We're going to put some flux on it. Which I was going to heat it off, but that's a good idea there, Sonia. I gave it to Sonia. She was thinking. Do the traces. top of the microphone. This is pretty crazy. Like, have you ever looked under a microphone before, you guys? Like, uh, I've done some on some Samsung phones. It's pretty crazy. And they are repairable, believe it or not. So let's zoom on this real quick. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Look at this. The soldering of the microphone. I mean, I got a shitty microscope, but, or not microscope, but I got a shitty camera microscope, put it that way. A camera. We got a power pin in there, data lines, that's the microphone right there. So this is the microphone, the actual microphone. So this is the microphones in the Samsung phones too, or LG, you know, like LG and Samsung, they use these. I haven't taken the Apple ones really apart, but I've seen this, the actual Samsung ones. And it's a lot easier. Because of the case that it has on there, it's a lot easier to kind of get it off with two sections. But if we look in this die package of the microphone, I mean, my tip won't even get. get close to that. Yeah, no idea what's on top. Yeah. So the microphone, yeah, it comes off. So the microphone comes off the case on a lot of the Samsung and the LGs and no, a lot of the Android phones, put it that way. <laughs> yeah. The case, it's a case around here with a little hole. Usually the hole will be over here or the hole will be over here on this side. It depends, but right, I guess it's a lot easier than using hot air. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over with this. Remove this complete bottom board here. Of the microphone. So this microphone is still attached. Now if you really wanted to disconnect the microphone at this stage right now. I'm going to show you how to do that. Is with my crappy camera. So we would just go whoopy daisy. Oh, sorry. You had a bad day. Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry. There you go. There you go. And then we shattered you. So now, see how easy it does? It was glass, basically. Microphone was glass. And that's all it is, like just a little vibration of the glass. And that's how the microphone operates. The new ones. I mean, I really don't know. I'm not a genius, but that's how I can guess it. So I don't, we don't got no power going to this chip right here, this IC underneath the microphone. So we should be good to go. Put this thing back together. So I'm pretty crazy, right? I usually just remove the mic whole microphone, that's it. You know. Did this, this video a little bit out of there, but <laughs> just trying to explain the point. These Q tips suck from, uh, what are they called? CBS suck. They're so short. I need right they don't even sell regular Q tips there. What the hell? So just for fun, I'm gonna take this off. Alright, let's see what's up with chat here. Anything with chat, anything with chat. Excuse me, oh my. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. Yeah, they're funny. I want to come up so easy. Where is he? Alright, there we go. We're good to go. Microphone is removed. You guys can't see it because I was so far away. But. Yeah, but Sonia was right. You just remove the traces, probably, but it is the best idea to do it. So, she killed it. I just feel like the customer or the person or your friend, whoever you're doing this for, feels comfortable that you remove the microphone from the actual device. That's all there is to it. I mean, it's not really... Some people want to know that their stuff's not tapped or 
spied on and I don't know. People get crazy out here. And a lot of people actually want this. Because, I mean, you, you get a you get a Lexus box, you get an Amazon box. It's always listening to you. How does it, how does it know that it's saying, hello, Alexa, everything, you know. Turn my TV on, turn it off, do this, do that. So I'm just putting this back the material here. So you have buttons. And I don't know if they switched from like an IR sensor or something like that to from Bluetooth, but this IR sensor crap is garbage. You gotta like point it. I think they did because the last remotes, the short ones, they didn't have the IR blaster. They didn't have a clear case. So I think it was Bluetooth, but it operated way better to get it from any angle in the room. So I'm kind of curious to why they did that. Why they went with the sensor? Is it because the sensor can communicate data a lot faster through the data? I don't know. It's pretty crazy. So. Put it back together. Take a break here real quick. Oh, find two other microphones in there. What? Retrofix? There's two other microphones? Really? Never thought about looking at that. Kind of crazy idea, but it's worth looking at. I think you're just trolling me, but that's cool. And there's your e-prompt, your memory stored in that chip. So you have all your tag tag files right there. All right, so QR code. Pretty cool. That's in gold. No, there's no other microphones. Good to go. Retro beam trolling. Alright, so. Yeah, we gotta put this area in here first. Put our little cap. Show them how that's gonna work. Let's see if we can. So we're gonna have to push this in. Mm. 
I like want to know who would design this crap. <laughs> Uh, it's late too. I work a late shift too, so. I don't like these new controllers. They're crappy. Compared to the old ones, that's for damn sure. Not like they used to be, that's for damn sure. Especially the old fire TV sticks, or not sticks, but the TV boxes. They're starting this all together. The old uh, fire TV boxes, they used to be awesome because you, it was higher, it, I don't know, it was higher processing than the, the newer boxes. And then now they downgrade to this kind of like, different material that they're using now. It's a lot of work just to take the controller apart. So it's kind of like they're making it so you can't take your controller apart more or less. There's the buttons working, clicking. Now is that just because of they don't want people taking the controller apart or is it just because it's just save costs and money. What's awesome about live stream is you don't have to do no editing. Hey, so what do you use, uh, Retrofix? What do you use for editing? I see you have pretty cool videos editing. If you don't mind me asking, I don't know how this goes in here anyway. Right, it's all the same. So you want to do this like oval shape, see how it's oval shape here. So you can kind of want to put that with the shape of the... Vegas 16, how do you like that? That worked pretty good. Right, so let me put this ring on the right way. this way because you get the little shorter ends this way longer ones up and down I'm thinking I'm not sure 
Yep, that's it. So that's how you do it. You get confused. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's just a lot more pain in the butt taking whole ones apart. It would take a couple minutes just to disconnect the microphone. And like Simon said, you could just uh, disconnect the uh, traces to it, really, if you wanted to. But just to add security, you uh, take the microphone completely out, which is the best. But so, I mean, they should have an option. You know what would be awesome is if you were a company and you're selling products like this, you can give the people an option not to have a microphone in your device whatsoever. Purchase non microphone device. Oh, it's just it's mind blogging. It gets me frustrated sometimes. Like, people should have a switch on here where you turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. Okay, well, privacy mode, turn off. Okay, you want everybody listening to your stuff? Turn on. Crap, dude. That's what it is. Certain aspects of the stuff like that, privacy issues and stuff like that, kind of, you know, it's kind of insulting somewhat. Yeah, it's basically just how to remove the microphone. We completely removed the microphone. Uh, like someone else, you know, said, hey, remove the traces. You can remove the traces from the actual board itself. You could, but we actually removed the whole complete micro blower or the microphone circuitry of the whole microphone circuitry and removed it. And therefore, it doesn't have a microphone. It can't say, hey, Siri, because it can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give it a minute or two, see what you guys' comments are on this uh, particular item. Would you do this mod? If so, leave it in chat or description in the video. Not the description of the video, but you know, down below. Below the description of the video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I don't know. It just got me so frustrated. Like, when you get frustrated about stuff like this, you should have, like, a little switch. Like, when you have ThinkPad, laptops, you have a switch to be able to turn your Wi-Fi off. Turn it on. Turn it off. And, like, now, newer laptops, you can't do that. Uh, newer devices like this. It just gets me frustrated so much. I just get off track and Oh, hmm. just want to punch him. Oh, you guys got your fire sticks a while ago? You guys got fire sticks? You jammed. <laughs> well. Uh, retro, retro fix. You said you jammed a little pick through it, right? Well, you would have to actually see, and that's why they thought of that too. So, uh, yeah, I don't have the mic. So if you go back in the video, you'll see probably there's a little pinhole, and the little pinhole is on the opposite side of the microphone most of the time because of that purpose. So they don't have uh, dust and dirt getting into it, or they don't have, you know, people poking objects or object, objects into it. I can't speak for some reason, but objects into it, and them poking into the actual object, they're not going to be able to 
penetrate that because of that metal case with just a needle. No. Yeah, well, I guess we do it for another time, but yeah, it's that's I kind of find that strange with some some of the LG phones, Samsung phones, you'll see opposite hole on the opposite side of the microphone which is kind of strange and then you'll see some of them on just that little glass that I broke right in the video you'll see that so it's kind of tripped out you know but this is a kind of tripped out video anyways in a sense because I mean if you poked a little hole in here or in your microphone I mean you'd have to really destroy that thing so you'd have to take a screwdriver like this and go back and forth in it. You probably could get away with it. Who knows? You have to see the damage after opening it up. I haven't done that yet. I do it the legit way. Doesn't even look like it's been opened. Yeah, I don't know. I don't watch Amazon Prime or anything like that. They got like two big Amazon companies, south side of Milwaukee and the north side of Kenosha. And that's why they're installing and redoing the interstate I-94 here by me to install <clears throat> automatic uh self-driving trucks that drive from one amazon location to the other at fox Lawn or foxconn location you know so between the two locations three locations at foxconn completely goes through they're going to be communicating between each road and passing by back and forth and it's going to be no one driving the trucks that's why they're rebuilding the whole interstate pretty crazy uh no there's no human assistance <laughs> gonna be a truck driving yourself <laughs> uh, uh. So I hope you guys liked the video of the Amazon Fire TV remote disassemble and microphone disassemble, turning your microphone off so you don't listen, they don't listen, they can't listen to conversations, anything like that. So uh, people do request this to happen because they want their privacy and they want to be able to use Amazon. If you hop into Amazon and use their equipment, their microphone is always listening. Why do you think you say, hey Siri, it automatically activates the microphone. So uh, a friend of mine asked me to do this for them and I have a few of my friends and other uh, other people, customers, that asked me to remove their microphones. And that's what occurs sometimes with Amazon because they're always listening to you. Same with Google devices. Why do you purchase Google devices if you don't want to listen to you? I don't know, but some people in this case, they want to do it, and I'm willing to help them, and it's a good idea, actually, because privacy is a issue, and it's going to be an issue down the road. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys get a chance, give this a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.